When we ask cattlemen and women why they value NCBA, one of the most common answers is because of the work done on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. And over the past year, one of the top issues has been the Environmental Protection Agency's effort to regulate waters of the United States. We asked producers to share their concerns about this issue. Well, one issue that I'm uh, pretty concerned about is the Clean Water Act. Um, as they try and take over and get more control of the water, now they're talking ditches and ponds and stuff, and it just seems like it never ends. Well, I've got a lot of dry tributaries in my area um, that traditionally would not fall within navigable waters under any of their definitions. Got a lot of arroyos that run across this. And as near as I can understand from the language they used, all of those things would suddenly become waters of the U.S., subject to all the permit restrictions and other activity restrictions. But the waters of the U.S. issue with EPA is obviously a big one. For our own operation, I mean, that could mean that we've got water around, we've got irrigation ponds, we've got, we've got stock water ponds, and all of those could fall under the regulation of EPA. It's a scary thing. You know, we've uh, been doing the same things. We like to improve. We like to do everything right in our operation. But if, if they can just make a big blanket rule change, that would be hard on our operation and our family situation. But, you know, we try to work around everything we can to be profitable and do what's best for the environment. Well, it's going to have a terrible impact on the cattle business. And, you know, uh, uh, just, just one example, I would tell you, I was down in Florida and, you know, they talk about, you know, having to make uh, movements across uh, different pastures or wherever there's water standing in areas, you know, that 404 determinations. Well, you know, somebody might have to actually get a permit to move their cattle from one pasture to the next. And in Florida, that's an everyday occurrence. So, um, you know, it, it just that's just one place. But I think this rule would affect just about every farmer and rancher, landowner, land operator in the United States. This is definitely one of the biggest threats that we have seen to animal agriculture and to everybody who's in land management business in years. We're trying to make sure that our members truly understand what this issue is all about and more importantly, ensure that they get engaged.